Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, I'm terribly sorry I'm late. Bye now. Okay. You can have first pick of the seats. Except that one, not that one. Oh, God. Absolutely set myself up for that. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm really sorry I'm late. Uh, there's a kind of one way uh, thing going on. Because, ooh, these are comfy. <laughs> Shall I move? I'll move that. Thank you. Do we just rearrange all this? Yeah, yeah, let's rearrange the whole for room. For no reason. But <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Like 50s sci-fi. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'll do, any, I'll do anything you want. Yeah. Thank you. No, it's, it's lovely um, to be here. Sorry. Oh, what time is this meant to start? Whenever, really, I think. You know, I think seven. <laughs> um. Sorry. Um, <laughs> when I was here a million years ago, uh, there were no one-way systems. That's a hell of an anecdote, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for coming. I think Not everyone's really excited um, to hear, like, everything I'm you've alive. got to say. To Cheers. hear you're alive. <laughs> Who are current Footlights members. Hey. And Footlights Christ. performers. <laughs> Keep it going, because it's a really important thing. God bless you. I don't believe in God, but really keep it going because it's really good How can there okay. I've said that now and I meant it as well oh. I know you were just spoken here sorry oh, I, I thought you asked me if you're allowed to smoke in here no I didn't I oh, said no. <laughs> I know you're meant to smoke in here oh, are we allowed maybe we could have a no I won't I won't condone that um, <laughs> condone Yes, I'm, I'm sticking to that. <laughs> so, can you tell us about your time in the Footlights? Pardon? Please, could you tell us about your time in the Footlights? Did My you... time in the Footlights? Yeah. Well, you, you did the tour, the, the cellar tapes, that I'm sure everyone has watched on YouTube. Have they? Has, have they? Yeah. What's YouTube? You think I'm making this up. I'm a genuine technophobe, uh, so I don't uh, know, but I can press, there's a button, it's red, and it's mm -hmm. called YouTube, and you can get things on it. Mm -hmm. Including the Sellotapes video. Is that right? Yeah, I think it's- How much time do you spend on YouTube? <sighs> Too much, I'd say. Um, Have you seen the little scene Mm, part of a, a porno franchise called Men Who Spank Tortoises. <laughs> and I don't, don't pretend you haven't. <laughs> I, don't re I don't remember seeing it. Oh, that's what Himmler said. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, God. What a comparison. Um, have you seen... What is, is it on YouTube? What? The, the porn franchise. Which is what? The tortoise spanking. You, tortoise? tortoise? You said tortoise. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I did. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> so what was your time uh, in the Footlands like? <laughs> what was your, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, one, I'm really nervous. Two, uh, this is actually really... Um, nostalgic. I haven't been back to... Uh, uh, 17 years, and uh, so you're all kind of full uh, people, and um, no, you said no, you with the uh, kind of biker jacket and the aggressive look, <laughs> why is that happening? <laughs> no, don't take it off, <laughs> give me a couple of quid, no kissing, but <laughs> you put it back on now, <laughs> how did, how, okay, what, pardon? <laughs> I didn't. 
I, I was just going to ask about your time in the footlights. Ah, <laughs> uh, look. Okay. Um, born 1959, uh, went to a grammar school, then when uh, it became a comprehensive, it was the Jesuits and nuns, there was a certain amount of abuse, I'll come on to that later, in a really funny way. And uh, then I was good at sports, and I uh, actually was a black belt in judo. Hooray! Yeah, and uh, that's true. And I represented uh, this country against um, the Netherlands. And we were crap. We were <laughs> <laughs> and I was banned from the competition. Not through doing anything naughty, it's just so I, I kind of... Look, my best friend is now going. <laughs> ah, now he's gone. Let me tell you something. <laughs> oh, no. So I was... Uh, so, uh, oh, this place is beautiful. Hmm. Last time she was with Desmond Tutu, ages, ages. Anyway, sport first, yeah, and I was a black belt. And uh, anyone uh, here uh, who does uh, judo? Any judo players in? Anyone who wants to, like, do something physical and pretend they do judo? <laughs> oh, you're my friend, I can't do that. <laughs> anyway, I saw, uh, yeah, so I was interested in sport, and uh, but then I wasn't good enough, and then I got interested in languages, and then uh, I got an exhibition with, uh, do they still exist, exhibitions? I don't think so, I don't know what that is. Hang on, no, hang on, do you get an exhibition or a scholarship or an entrance? Scholarships exist, I, I don't know about exhibitions, does anyone know? Oh, well, uh, excuse me. <laughs> they did in my day. <laughs> <laughs> they were one step below. Yeah, yeah. 40 quid a year you got. Oh, and it okay. was the same because I went to Trinity Hall in uh, uh, Cambridge, and uh, yeah, that's how I got in and um, that's how I got into Footlights, by bumping into certain people, like uh, um, uh, Stephen Fry and Emma Thompson, Hugh Laurie. I don't know what's become of them. I hope <laughs> they're doing... <laughs> I so hope they're doing very well. Did you no, start... No, they're very kind to me. And um, I was a, you know, a shy young man, and... Um, yeah, that's, that's how I mm. fell into it, yep. So did you start very early on in, whilst you were in Cambridge, or did you, like, find yeah, your way yeah, into Yeah, uh, pretty early on, because I know it sounds a kind of greasy cliché, but it was... Um, sorry, the, the camera's there, is it? <laughs> right, hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> what, you, you have a name for the camera? <laughs> No, I'm just asking you whether you have a name for the camera. No, I don't. No, it's time you did. What's your name? Uh, Talking. What's your... Uh, 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 I, hi, Alex. I just didn't know the camera was there. That's all I'm going to do. Just a double chin and think, yeah, I can go like that. <laughs> Right, so, uh, no, school plays, and uh, enjoyed that, and enjoyed uh, sport, then uh, did school plays, and then uh, after I uh, discovered that I wasn't that terribly good at sports, um, <clears throat> I had the uh, good fortune to bump into a couple of people, uh, they, and they were Stephen and Hugh and Emma, and um, auditioned, and uh, that's how that started. Yep. Was it something... Well, I think the, com the Footlight system has changed quite a lot uh, recently. I guess. So what sort of... How did it work when you were a student here? 
okay, uh, how did it work? Yeah. Well, okay, in 1979, there was something called the Egypt, sorry, do you want to see my legs? Because <laughs> they're all scarred from uh, um, meticillin resistant um, Staphylococcus aureus. Have you got that on camera? <laughs> Never mind. What I was saying, mm, no, I, I think it was 1970, it was something called the Euro, uh, ETG, the European mm. Theatre Group, which was uh, then directed by uh, the son of the Dean of Trinity Hall, which was the college uh, I went to uh, with an exhibition which you apparently doesn't exist anymore. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, it. no, it doesn't. That's not going out on a limb. That's, <laughs> that's a real statement. Yeah, that's a statement. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? Yes. <laughs> okay. My favourite game is one which is known on telly, and we must only speak in questions. Now, this has been done on, on, on telly, but it goes back years and years, you know, through Plautus and Pliny and, and, and Swift. We must, okay, what am I trying to buy from Alex? <laughs> Pardon? Alex is over there. Alex, what's your name? Anya. Similar. No, they're not. They're completely <laughs> linguistically, phonetically different. A? They've got an A? Both of them have got an A? That's a statement. Yeah. Oh, right. I've, I've lost the game. Okay, I'm No, ready. no, no. I really want to play this because okay. it's really one to play at home as well. What are you looking at? Are you bored now, both of you? Thanks. Hey, go on then. <laughs> you come right out with it, don't you? What's your name? Nice to meet you. <laughs> You've dropped something. What's that? It's the gum I've taken out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but my hearing's going a bit. Did you say the gun that you've <laughs> no, taken? No, the gum. Okay, what am I trying to buy from Anya? Peter? Was kind of some kind of whorehouse <laughs> we've wandered into? I'm trying to find Peter. <laughs> Peter. Peter, like salt Peter. Peter. Like, like I'm trying to find. <laughs> What's your name, please? Tiger. 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 What's your name, please? Tiger. Your name is Tiger. Yeah. What am I trying to buy from Anya? Um, I quite like the idea of a pizza. <laughs> the A pizza? Yeah, but it could be a specific pizza. <laughs> well, bring it on. What sort? <laughs> um, well, a margarita. Okay. Questions only, and then we can all join in. Go, ah, oh, it's a great game. And you can even play it with children, and that sounds pervy, but it's not. It's just a really simple game. <laughs> May I have a margarita pizza, please? Why would you like a margarita pizza? Have you not heard of cheese and ham? <laughs> Do you not like cheese and ham? Why, other, why wouldn't I be ordering one, then? Are you hungry? Why else would I be here? <laughs> See, right, now, now, you, you change places. This is why it's great. Do you want to come up? Yes, yes, questions only, on. but it's still pizza. Oh, no, it's you. <laughs> yes. Okay, fine. But, okay, no, it's, a, it's only because it's one of my favourite games because it's the most difficult, simple game. It's just <laughs> questions only. But you're trying to buy something from me, not pizza. What are you trying to buy? What am I trying to buy? From no, we haven't started the game yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? 
What did you did you just do something really kind of like cool and young? I'm just uh, I'm just uh, I'm just not so on it. I'm just excited. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> there are tablets for that. It's a good game. It is. Okay. okay. So you're going to try and buy. No. What? Uh, then. You're a very strange woman. I just, uh, we were just talking about the game. What are you trying to buy? Um, some flowers. Flowers. <laughs> Gresson's only. This is what's really good to play at home, even if you're on your own. And, <laughs> and especially if you're psychotic like me, it's really good fun. <clears throat> um, please may I buy some flowers? What sort? Is Indonesia enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> if Indonesia um, is enough for me, then I could maybe... That's a statement. <laughs> See? <laughs> Can I give you one more time? Right. Different, uh, different product then, not flowers. Coffee. A coffee. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to buy a coffee. <laughs> this is why it is a good game. It's a beautiful place. I can't believe it. I'm back here. Okay, I'm trying to buy coffee and beer. Okay. How many different sorts of coffins do you have? Um, how big do you want your coffin? Is 30 feet enough? <laughs> Depends. How, what colour would you like your coffin to be? Is brown difficult for you? <laughs> See, I'm lost. Please, come. No, one more. Please, please, please. Chris, oh, we're going to stick with coffins. That's funny. What did you just say? Is steel good? <laughs> no, please, please, please. Crescent's only, but let's, let's not go with coffins. Anyone else? Shy man. You want to buy a space rocket? <laughs> Quest, qu no, this is really good. Okay, questions only. You want to buy a space rocket? Questions only. Where do you keep space rockets? Where do you want to travel? How far do they fly? How many people will be travelling with you? <laughs> there are seven. <laughs> ah! No, I'm going to let this go on because that's where it gets interesting. Let's keep it at Space Rocket. Okay. You ask. Me? No, no I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alice. Wait, no, yes, I'm yes, you yes. Space look. Rocket. No, you haven't started. <laughs> Hi, Alex. <laughs> You're trying to buy a Space Rocket. Yes. No, that's a statement. Right, sorry? we're trying to. Questions yeah. only. Okay, got it. Good. Which planet are you travelling to? How many planets are there? How much would you like to spend? Where is the third planet? Where do you go if you want to go to space? Do you need a big engine? <laughs> do I? <laughs> Oh, that's oh, no, sorry. That's, anyway, round of applause. Thank you for doing that and uh, joining in. And um, I'm sorry to, to this. Uh, that no, was, no, no, that that was, was brilliant. Because uh, I really think it's brilliant because it's so simple and so silly. <laughs> and it's, it's just, just fun, which is pretty much the best thing. Have you got any in, other games? If you want. I feel like people are enjoying the games. Okay, we could do that if you want. Well, or we, I can ask you some more questions and then we can do okay. another game. Okay. Um, I'm going to check my notebook because I wrote you, some You're going to... I'm sorry. Oh, I'm going to chat my notes. I'm going to 
yeah, check my note. Oh, okay. okay. Is that okay? Um, the space. Um, from what I know, you now do a lot of improvised comedy, which I used feel like to. you used to. Did you move from sketch into doing? Pardon? I think you just got heckled. Or did I get heckled? <laughs> what did you say? Say again, please. Oh, yeah. Um, these, are, these are my two best friends, and uh, they remind me, one, of my name, two, my location, geographically. That's cool. Uh, yeah, doing bits and pieces at the moment, yeah. Did, did you move from away from sketch into improv? Or do hmm. you still kind of dabble? Yeah, but a bit of both, really. I think it started out in, 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 in um, yeah, sketches and sense, all that. Also, I want to dedicate this. I don't know whether you heard the terrible news about Jeremy Hardy, who was a friend and a great loss. Mm, and I did improve with him long mm, time ago. He died on uh, Friday. Great mind and a great brain, two different things, but he bloody combined them both. Uh, that, uh, so, yeah, so he started, started in kind of sketches and comedy. and uh, But going back to, to Footlights, right, you meet these people. <laughs> You're in a room and something. <laughs> ah, there's you, Laurie, and there's Kim Fry and and uh, Emma Thompson, and here you are, me, um, uh, a boy who who's had his accent beaten into my me by. I don't want to get too dark here, but where's this going? At? Anyway, hello, viewing people. I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> right, the first person who slapped me was a nun. I think it was about eight. Because mm, every day assembly, you had to uh, stand up and, and, and uh, say the Lord's Prayer. <clears throat> Our Father art in heaven, however the name is, and that was, that was his job. I got it wrong. One day, I was in <clears throat> and this is how I spoke then, before I was taught how to speak like this. Because otherwise, I would be speaking like this, like my mother and father who came up. Ah, oh, you, know, you know, Mrs. Brown's art, oh, no, yes. Off the course of Kalamata, that's how I would speak, yes. But that was being out of me. And I could say, hello. No, no, it wasn't that. No, it went the other way. It went, our Father, who art in heaven, how are you, by the way? <laughs> Which I actually think was a really innocent, sweet thing to ask. She was such a whack. <clears throat> Across my face and... Because of the, I really think that, the, 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 especially next stock, America, Golomnada, uh, by causeway to, to the Aran Islands. Uh, <clears throat> I said, that, that was an assault. I know you're a nun, but you're also a barren cow. <laughs> this is nothing, this is nothing for an eight year old boy. To a nun. But it, what, it, what it came from was a reaction to violence. Uh, and then I went into footlights. <laughs> <laughs> Which is such a... Hi, Alex. It's such a natural step. <laughs> no, the, that's, a, that, that's how the, the kind of language uh, thing... Uh, I mean, so school plays and then footlights, yeah. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm not, I, I, I realise I'm not being helpful. I'm not trying to be unhelpful, but no, it's great. I'm really nervous being interviewed. Always have I've been. never interviewed someone before, so I'm nervous as well. 
Oh, you shouldn't be. Okay. <laughs> Neither should you, then. We'll just all have a chat. Is that... <laughs> all right. <laughs> In a nice way. In a nice way? <laughs> In a nice way. But that's, uh, that's what I'm doing, nice. Oh, then the priests came along, but they hung themselves because they were too busy sodomizing people. Is this going out? <laughs> really? Uh, I think, I don't know. Is this, I think it's being broadcast. Anyway, so there was sport, and then there was uh, school plays, and uh, then there was uh, uh, finding <clears throat> an interest in linguistics and phonetics and language, which was, I was quite good at. And uh, then uh, I got this exhibition, and when there were exhibitions which we uh, talked about, and they were actually exhibited as... These are interesting things, but I did get a scholarship because I was crap at some things. <sighs> and uh, but, 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 but good, good at the others. It's like uh, so. I only got six O levels, three O levels, but then you had to do the the, the Cambridge entrance. Uh, was a magazine, that's a linguistic interference, that's quite Freudian and Jungian, and I've read enough psychiatry to have seen enough psychiatrists. Let's leave that one there. <laughs> but it's true, and they were great friends. God knows they took enough drugs, Jung and uh, Freud, always together, and uh, the best... Uh, uh, conversation between them because Jung was all, all, always into the interpretation of dreams and uh, uh, Freud, as we know, the father of psychiatry, and uh, this, uh, as you know, was, uh, Freud said to Jung, <laughs> and this is well documented, right, I'm not, I'm not even tempting an accent here. <laughs> Sometimes when you dream about a cigar, it's just a cigar. And that sums up psychiatry. <laughs> it's like existentialism, because I did modern and medieval languages, and yeah, you're in Proust and, and, and Gide, and uh, the, anyone know Guillaume Apollinaire? Any linguists here? Worth reading. Uh, Les Alcohol. Different story, obviously, for me. Talking which, but yeah, it was about uh, when, when he first asked, mm, about, so what is existentialism? And I, even at an early age, said, Well, I think this was about 12. And I think existentialism is. If you're lucky enough to wake up alive and you've got water and food and you're not dead, then you take it from there. And that got me a dick <laughs> when I was about 13. Are you afraid now? <laughs> I was just, you were 13? Yeah. Which, was this for, for which stage of your, is this for Cambridge? No, uh, uh, I don't <laughs> think many people even then knew to get, well, they did in the 14th century, or in the 15th century get in when they were 15. But no, no, I was 13, and it was, I was asked by, what do you think about existentialism? Uh, okay. This was shortly after I called a nun a barren cow. <laughs> <laughs> and you went straight from the footlights into doing comedy professionally? Mm. No. Sorry, you uh -oh. preempted my answer. I, I, I don't know why I decided to, to never, join in. You, I was going <laughs> to say, never. And you went, no. no. 
I'll let you answer. <laughs> let me what? Answer. But you haven't asked me a question. Oh. Did you go straight from the footlights into the... Did you, I'm comedy. sorry, phonet, I did. Oh, first in phonetics, you just said, did you go straight from the footlights? The foot... Am I, am I really bad at articulating? I said that Sometimes. Really well. Okay. <laughs> I'll try again. Did you go straight from the footlights into the... TV industry? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I did. I, I did some uh, plays at uh, uh, Cambridge, and um, uh, that was fun because it was like, <clears throat> you know, um, school plays. Have we all been in school plays at some point? And they can be addictive, and they're lovely. And it's about the second most um, addictive substance in life, laughter and applause, followed by other things. Uh, yeah, so, so I did uh, plays in Cambridge, <clears throat> and then bumped into some people, then uh, uh, was president of uh, Footlights, and uh, it, there, was, there was something called the Perrier Award, and it was for the best by a panel, uh, and it was sponsored by Perrier, and uh, and and and, and <clears throat> we got the award. And afterwards, they said we got mm, stuff leaked out. We can't give it to the footlights because they're all the posh people. We can't. And but you know, because of Emma and Stephen and, and, and Hugh and maybe a bit of me and the late, great loss, forgotten one, Penny Dwight and Paul Shearer and, and, and Steve Edis and the one who... <laughs> ah, I just remembered. The one who dressed our clothes. His, his name is, is, is... He does... Um, oh, come and help me out here. He designed our clothes. And his name is, and he's all over the world. And he's, anyone know? Um, the, the one about design in buildings and houses and things. I'm going to wait. Alex. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, yes. He designed our clothes. Really? <laughs> well done. A, a round of applause for Alex. Bloody hell. So it takes me a long time to get there. And well done you as well. You? <laughs> so, so, so that's how I, I got into it. But uh, the, uh, uh, also, there was, there was the thing of... Uh, but they said, no, we didn't want to give it to them. It just happened to be the funniest thing we saw. This was when the Edinburgh Fringe was this small. Like, you know, and now it's like eight yellow pages. You know, it was this small. And... Um, mm, mm, so, uh, so it wasn't a direct chip, but um, uh, yeah, there were some really good sketches in it, mostly written by uh, Stephen and you. Uh, Stephen and you, yes. Mm. It's one I helped. Mm. All right, here's the name drop. I'm gonna do it. Emma <laughs> Thompson. <laughs> uh, we set up a, an Oscar acceptance speech and of course it turned out 30 years later <laughs> it was exactly true because <laughs> she had to do the same thing and it was something like okay if I may do from me it'll be a bit babbly but mm. maybe <laughs> no, no it was okay let me try to remember and the nominations are for best actress are Patricia Bent for her part in Botham, the musical. <laughs> Sorry, this is going over your heads, but it was funny at the time. 
Norman Platt for his part in the revival of Manhood and the Prince of Wales, starring Diana. You see, it's not funny now, because everyone just said, <laughs> oh, you can't say that, but this was then. And Juliana Talent for her role as Juliana in the play, Juliana. <laughs> and the winner is, if I could just get it. <laughs> Juliana Talent. <laughs> so, and then Emma comes on, and I did write this half with her. And then, so she came on with this weird looking thing, which is meant to be, you know, you know <laughs> This <laughs> award doesn't really belong to me. There's a vast army of people behind this <laughs> who have helped me. And I'd like to thank my husband, Peter, the director, who's, 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 who's taught me... Uh, so can I tell a little story? There was once... Oh, I'll come back to this movement in a moment, if you okay. want. This movement, which is a real bugbear. Yeah, my friend over there, uh, <laughs> real bugbear of me. I might uh, just go off track here, if you want. <clears throat> no, it was... Hmm. The thing about Juliana, <laughs> my husband, I can see him laughing. He's heard this before. If I ever, I don't know, thought that she'd somehow be invading me, <laughs> as it were playing me, I knew how to say, hey lady, back off. <laughs> and she did, because that was the relationship we had. But the most thing I want to say, if there's a little time, no, honestly, I'm just reliving this time, and I'm bloody, uh, sort of, in ages. <laughs> for any advice for young actors, <laughs> whether in review or comedy or theatre or mime, <laughs> I just want to tell a story. <laughs> there was once <laughs> a young girl and she had a dream. <laughs> <laughs> and her dream was to be lucky, if you're lucky enough <laughs> to survive in this business, all you need is to be lucky enough <laughs> to be born with the most colossal talent. Thank you. <laughs> and so she was. Oh, no, no, no. So that was that. So, um, no, oh no, that, that's, just, that, that's just something that, that uh, re reminded, uh, yeah, you reminded me of when, when, when it was, uh, it still holds up because uh, I don't know whether you, uh, anyone has ever seen it. Um, the cellar tapes is still quite fun to watch, actually. It is. And, um, uh, yeah, so, so in that sense, so Footlights was a kind, uh, a kind of springboard, yeah. Mm. Yep. What, um, what do you think is it about that show that means it still is so funny to watch? Because it's quite, like, timeless, do you think? I really do. Yes, because it was true, like the Oscar speech <laughs> 30 years later, that became true. <laughs> um, there were other silly uh, uh, things in it. Uh, quite, a few <laughs> quite a few which didn't make, they still exist, didn't make the take. I remember asking, <clears throat> Stephen and Emma Hugh, what about <laughs> doing the a quickie? Right, you do a quickie. Lights out, yeah, that's fun. Yeah. 
What about making the shortest, quickies sketch in the world? Never got love, but we kept doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the hell and the sake of it. And it was as silly and simple as this. And I wrote it, and I'm still really proud. <laughs> and it was, right, blackout, lights up, come on. <gasps> the Bermuda Triangle. It's disappeared. <laughs> Keep the lights up. Wait for no laugh at all. <laughs> Fade. <laughs> lights slowly back up. Stay where you are. Blackout. Leave. And I'm really proud. <laughs> Sorry, I am. I am. There. So that's so, so, so it was a kind of, yeah, and then g going into uh, shows and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any tips for anyone in the room who might be trying to write sketches and comedy but maybe doesn't know where to start? One, these acoustics are great. <laughs> I just sounded like a politician. One, <laughs> order! <laughs> One, and I'm the least person in the world to say, is one just bloody start. Just start. Don't let your doubts stop you. And because I'm a terrible, I've always been a terrible procrastinator. You know, this, you scratch it out. No, 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 no. Just, just do it. That's, that's honest, honest or, or, uh, start. And I haven't. I'm going to and help my two friends over there and uh, maybe some other people. And you start two. Mm. Okay, name drop, bang, <laughs> name drop time. I once interviewed Stevie Wonder and he felt my face. <laughs> I was doing a, a, a film review show and he felt my face. He said, you've got a kind face, man. And what a thing to live with. What a thing to... to, 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 to. And it could be shown, because this was a kid's show, and and, uh, and then when I said, OK, blind since birth, could you explain what you understand to be colours? He said, no, no, colours are feelings. Right, I'm of that bit. Oh, the thing I was going to get onto was Donald Sutherland. Great actor, still alive, thank God. Not that God exists. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Just personal opinion. If he does, who knows? Oh, the other thing about when the priest hit me was because I argued, and this was when I was 12, about the idea of you got the Lord's Prayer wrong. And he was a secondman from the Vatican. I said, compatibilism worries me. Where did you learn that word? In the library. And it confused me. Compatibilism. Now, that's a long word. And someone evil has said it to me. No, I said, I read it. And I think I understood it. What? Did you understand? I said, right. If God is past and present and future and omniscient, all those things, but the greatest gift he has given to humankind is the gift of self-will. And I simply said, but if God's all those things, he knows what you're going to do anyway, and therefore there's no point. This got me another slap round the face. But back to humour and footlights. <laughs> no, I I just went off on one then. Uh, I was just thinking, I don't know. Um... So, that, so there was a trampoline, and also for footlights, 
then was a kind of, um, oh, you get straight into the BBC. Aren't you? So, in fact, then it was a drawback. Thing. Oh, aren't you privileged? Mm -hmm. And this and the other. <laughs> well, then, I don't know, the humor, I mean, you know, the genius here, the Stephen Fry with his credit card frauds and his generosity to people. And uh, and uh, great generosity to be one of my heroes, uh, and 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 uh, but me, uh, I was uh, you know uh, work, working class and uh, seven in a two bedroom house and all that, and I just got in there because of the uh, linguistic uh, thing. Then it was an actual drawback. Like, oh, oh, you're Cambridge, you're in full life. How privileged. And a bit of me wanted to say, geez, you've got no. So, uh, but work did come from that, yeah. Mm. And how did you find, like, your time on, like, the various comedy TV shows that you did and that I think uh, everyone here is quite familiar with? Like, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Oh, Whose Line? Ran, ran for about eight years and it was fun. And, um, 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 <coughs> and it made some people laugh, and I made some money uh, from it. And and uh, but because I wasn't born into money, I didn't know what to do with money. I did some good things with it. I bought my mum and dad a house and my sister a house, and I think one of my brothers. I forgot to buy myself one. Bad, uh, <laughs> bad idea. But I'd never be very good <laughs> with uh, money anyway. Uh, and also shoved the life out my nose. Let's face it. Until uh, I had the brainstorm of uh, sending a sample of what I was taking to a toxicologist at the Edinburgh's, in fact, oh, Birmingham, and uh, then I was sent to a psychiatrist, and said, Tony, you do realise you're taking shit, you're spending a lot of money on shit. And I said, <clears throat> you know, I can't remember where I put my watch, uh, yesterday, but I do remember things with acuity and uh, verbatim uh, recall and one of the things he said, no, you really are taking shit because there's so little coke in this, but there's a lot of excrement. There's rat and human excrement. And that's kind of when I decided to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have a finger of fudge. Mm. So they were, they, they, they. Donald Sutherland, oh, I did get to him. He was asked not by me, by Barry Norman. Um, Anyone remember him? You know, preeminent um, film critic of the time. You were so young. You were so young. You've got all your lives in front of you. Carpe diem. And I will, I, I really, not carpe diem, carpe momentum. And I know I'm paraphrasing here. Sorry, paraphrasing. The friends thou hast, you grapple them to thy soul with hoops of unbreakable steel. And I really mean that. Mm. Donald Sutherland said, he, he was asked, came back to your question, what's the best advice? And his answer was, be kind. And that stuck with me. Mm. Even when I failed to be. Because like as Frederick Raphael said, <clears throat> words are loaded pistols, use them at your peril. Bruises can heal, but vicious things can never be unsaid. And I thought this was meant to be a funny evening. <laughs> But I do mean that, that's, that's what I uh, remember from your question, yes. That was great. Um, I think we should open up the questions from of the course. floor, if that's okay, if of anyone course. has any... any Christ, advice. I've spoken rubbish, haven't I? <laughs> Alex? Um, I, I enjoyed it. 
<laughs> Cheers. <laughs> if you want to just put your hand up, if you have a question. Oh, we've got straight straight in with one here. Uh, so. Good evening, Ben. Uh, good evening. It's a long time since we met each other because we were both students back at Trinity Hall. And, oh, uh, God, I'm going to cry now. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> could tell me your name and see if I remember because well, my memory is a bit shot. I'll tell you my credit first of all. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, yes, they uh, certainly do. You and I actually played college badminton together once upon a time at, over at Chelsea Cove Sports School in, in, in the county. Okay. And uh, I have particularly fond memories of you doing your Star Trek impression. Okay. Used to do at the old East Coast. This is getting yeah. real creepy. <laughs> 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 which, were, which were real highlights. Um, I hope you don't mind me asking a question because we haven't actually touched on it. Mm. Which is obviously something you have spoken about quite a lot over the years. Mm. Um, some years back, you were interviewed by Steve Smile for a BBC documentary about mm. Mm. Michael and Sophia. Mm. And there was a very pertinent question that Steve asked you at the end of the interview. He said, You know, if you could push a button and get rid of bipolar disorder, would you do so? So really, I'm interested to know why you said no, you wouldn't get rid of the bipolar disorder. And secondly, whether now, like more than 10 years later, whether you, you would answer the same? Okay. Um, can I throw a couple of things back at you? What's your name, please? Second. <laughs> I said to your interviewer, you won't remember. <laughs> it's what, 40 years ago we met Lord Noble. Yes. Studies psychology at Queen's Anne. That's right. Doing MA. Were you like uh, 79 to 82, like me, a bit? I was actually one year later. So okay. I stayed on to do a two year deal of part two before I actually met. I started 79. I was born in effectively two weeks before you were in 1959. Don't blame that on me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, I, my mum and dad are dead. You can't... You can't have, okay, which part of Trinity Hall very, did you... We're very close in age, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we were in the same year group. And so Lord. We both started in 79. I think you met in 82, I met in 83, because I stayed on to get part two of the deal. That's right. Are you married with kids? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> hey, Lorne. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Um, I've forgotten your question now. It was about bipolar disorder. Oh. Whether you would press the button. No, oh, no, 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 I wouldn't. And uh, uh, Stephen's a great program. Which won uh, an Emmy mm. and the vast um, spectrum of bipolarity, uh, and it's become kind of <coughs> devalued because uh, <laughs> there's a thing going around apparently Hollywood at the moment. Look, you can make it if you're gay. You can make it if you're Jewish, but the only way you'll really make it is if you're bipolar. <laughs> then you'll get the work. Now, that's really cynical and really horrible because it's, it, <clears throat> it's a really complicated uh, thing. And, and um, it, it, <clears throat> it 
it's good that it's spoken about. Are you? What can I say? Hmm. I don't think so, but I have had things of great depression in my past. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. I, right, name drop, bang. I worked with uh, Judy Walters, and you had to uh, up your game. Went for a light entertainment tart like me. <laughs> Acting opposite of Judy Walters. And we talked about that uh, a bit. Of it. And a, talked about anxiety and depression. And she said, yeah, it's called the human condition. Who doesn't? Just whether anything gets done or whatever you can do or whatever help you can get. And you've only got 10 minutes with the GP. How do you, what do you do? I'm sorry, it sounds as if I'm somehow eviscerating your question. I'm not one, I remember exactly who you are now. <laughs> no, it's not. <coughs> Badminton kick. Do I say player? Oh, no, badminton, but the K. Celtic Heritage. You never wrote. Did anything go on? <laughs> okay, it's just nice to know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got already. What a sweet story. Thank you for. It's nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you. Maybe we can have a chat after. Hope so. Fuck, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, no, not at all. Has anyone else got any questions uh, or revelations to be made? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm not doing this for any reason. It's just they, they were dry cleaned earlier. Oh. And they certainly need another dry cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, no, the, but that's a really serious thing about the the bipolarity stuff and um, yeah okay let me think about some funny things I've thought about mental illness which is a difficult thing to make jokes about okay my favourite joke <laughs> about but this is your fault so if it goes down badly <laughs> Alex hi <laughs> <laughs> the no, it's not. There you go. And I thought this one myself. Actually, I think so. There's a man with bipolar two. He's sitting at a table in a restaurant. For one, the waiter asks him, "Can I take your order?" He replies, "Yes." I'll have what I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> and I still think that's a great joke. Because mm. it does actually sum up quite a lot. Uh, uh, another of you might come. Sorry, I'll keep. I'm just jabbering. I think, I think everyone's very interested. I was going to ask you about mental health as well. I think it's a very interesting um, topic to talk about, especially in terms of like comedy and how those oh, two things no. kind of yes. fuse in a way. Do you find that? I do. Very much. The footlights, this venerable, ancient institution, which is which 
which <clears throat> has, I know there's all the stuff about the names of the past of Falconer used to be, actually used to have a falcon, yes, and then there's the secretary. Wait, sorry, you used to have a falcon? A yes. real bird? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's so cool. Have you got the book? You've looked at the hotel. There's a book, um, because I was like, uh, it was a centenary, and I was the 199th president, so there it was the 100, and Peter Cook uh, narrated it as E.L. Whisty and things like that, and I got really drunk. There's a surprise. With, uh, in the Eagle pub, is that still around? Yeah. But this was in the days when the pubs shut in the afternoon at 3 p.m. But oh, not for Peter Cook. <laughs> and we got, we just got slammed. Because <laughs> I was the 100th or 99th president and the book was coming out. It's by Robert Hewison. It's really worth reading. Uh, it's quite a rarity, but really well uh, written and <clears throat> and after about, I don't know, the 18th bottle of vodka or whatever it was. <laughs> and so, I'm not, I'm not an impersonator, but I do remember how voices so sounded. Then, so, hang on, have you just been filming me with, from that angle with my double chin? <laughs> Why couldn't you have done it from up there and made me look angular? You maybe look like Peter Lorre crossed with Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> was that you know, was that deliberate? Uh, sorry. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> there are other cameras up there as well. So they've got like they, if, if you don't like this angle, there are, there are multiple angles. How do I know you're lying? Anyway, Peter got, oh, so you say, so, Tony, uh, uh, what did I saw? I saw you, because he, he watched the, uh, the solo tapes and uh, he, uh, <clears throat> he said, oh, something I thought was quite funny. It made me laugh. You're quite a good mover as well. Woody, woody. And it was like this. It was like a weird version of Kelly. What do you want to do with your life? And I was you still, you know, after all this drink, I, I, I was honest with him. I said, I was thinking of going and teach showbiz. And his response was, and yes, my, my best friends have heard it because I've told them. And if I ever write something, coming back to you all, put it back, oh, just write. Just start it. He said, you've got showbiz, oh, give it a fucking whirl. <laughs> And I think that's the best advice. Mm. So. But you had a falcon. <laughs> in the footlights. No, there was a falcon. It's in the book. No, the, what are they called nowadays? They, are you president or secretary or...? We don't have a president. Um. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> pardon Anymore. me for asking. You could, be our, you could be our president for this year. No, I was. <laughs> we... Um, we don't have a falconer, but we saw in the Constitution that there used to be the a... The Constitution? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. There's a... Yeah, there's a no, Constitution. No, OK. So, yeah, but we're going back 100 years. There was a falconer. Uh, there was a... There was something in the 30s, maybe the, this was premonitional, called a bisecretary. Read into that. <laughs> um, no, the falconer. So there's a president and a vice president and stuff. Mm. That's still going on. Right. Oh, but that was my story about Peter Cook. Anyway, yeah. give it a fucking whirl. Mm. And that kind of goes with life. Doesn't it? Oh, give it a fucking whirl and see how it pans out. I think that's great advice. If anyone has any questions, I think, any last questions, I think we have five, around five minutes left, is that right? Okay. 
has anyone got any anything that they want to ask? Yep, go on there. Jennifer, <laughs> I thought you're in Switzerland. <laughs> John, this is between me and her. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I uh, recently watched Peter's Friends again. Oh, you didn't. Yeah. Uh, so <coughs> did you Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Well, Quite uh, funny. It's, it's well written. Sure, yeah. Just wondering um, the process of filming that, whether it was like being reunited, like sort of you said, just having like Emerson Smith and Peter Bright and Laurie, or just generally what it was like. Okay, that's interesting one, because cause, cause I, hadn't, <clears throat> I hadn't seen any of them for eight years. And I'd never met Kenneth Branagh before. I had to audition, quite rightly, uh, about two days of auditions, eventually. He never met me, uh, so, so it was strange, but there was, there was a genuine tenderness about getting together, and it was about people getting together, but the reality was we were getting together together after 10 years or eight or whatever and uh, it was lovely it was a very happy time so yes that's a really poignant question and that's come out of nowhere and uh, thank you for asking that because that's come out of nowhere and uh, yeah yeah and yeah and there was some shit in the papers. Oh, God, the old Footlights gang getting together, like, you know, uh, last week. And I thought, fuck off. We haven't seen each other in eight years. <laughs> These powerful big companies are not going to just employ us because of that. What they wanted, for my part, was a stupid twat. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore... <laughs> I got the part. <laughs> There's no need to say yes, but <laughs> that's that's how that happened. And also looking back on it, oh God, maybe all nostalgic. You know, you look back on the film, really well written. I think there were, but because it's it's just full of wounded people. Mm. through life circumstance, through different backgrounds, all that. Mm. B -b 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 but also, yeah, they still got it. I was just, okay, who knows the footlights motto? Latin. I didn't know there was a motto. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a joke. <laughs> Does anyone know? I don't know. You don't look it up. I don't, I'm not interested in phones. <laughs> Do you phones know that, Alex? Uh, no, no, no. Oh. It's, not, it's not in any of the documents. <laughs> it's not in the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> right, when it was founded uh, over 100 years ago now, it's Ars Escalare, Artem. The art is to hide the art, so that no one sees what you're doing. It's in the book. Arsis <laughs> Kilari Artem. Anyway, here's my falcon. <laughs> I noticed, is that a person up yeah. there? Hello, I didn't see you before. <laughs> Are you Secret Service? <laughs> Oh, God, make me sound good. <laughs> Please, I'll do anything for you. 
Do you what? Do best. Do. Oh, I thought you said you want me to do your disc. <laughs> What's your name? Will. Short for? <laughs> do you know each other? No, you. <laughs> well, let's see what we can do. Hey, cheers, Will. No, I can bloody see you up there because you kind of blend into the kind of neo-Gothic style. <laughs> that hasn't bloody changed since, since oh, God, what was that? Oh, Stephen uh, arguing with the, uh, oh, who's that ridiculous old cow? And this isn't being sexist, I mean, and Widdicom. <laughs> My idea of an, uh, no, 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 I'm going to start that again. My idea of heaven is for Locke and Whittacombe, <laughs> Nigel Farage, and Diane Abbott in a sauna. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and see how they get on with their really terribly intelligent political views. <laughs> I've got a question. Oh, Christ! <laughs> um, you said this was one of your bugbears. I just thought intrigued. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, God, do you really want that? Oh, God, you, you... <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, oh God. Um, have you seen me deep? I've been eating. Right. Okay, right, I'll give you. Okay, 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 I will. Shall I? No, I will. Okay, right. Mm. Footlights members, are you all members of Footlights here? Are you just people who've turned up? So there are no members of Footlights here. There are a few. There are a few dotted around. Uh, you are a member of Footlight? Yes. And your title is Falconeress? For, yes, it is. It is now. Countess to Falconry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, so what are, are you secretary? Um, I'm one, I'm a, what we, we've put in this year is one of the... Hang on. Okay. I'm going to catch you up there. <laughs> I'm what we put in this year. <laughs> I'm a new position... Are you? Yes. Well, we've all done that. <laughs> we don't, instead of having a president and a vice president, we now have. Oh, I know, I know that bit's officers. changed. Okay, so okay. I'm so sorry to come, to come back to this. Okay. <laughs> Any of you, footlights or not, then if you want to go into acting, one, be polite. Two, if you do voiceover, really nod and pretend that you understand what they're saying uh, because usually it's just shit. <laughs> the best way to go is, ah, oh, got it, got it, got it. Crap, right. <clears throat> One, don't lose your rag because you can come across really insultingly stupid people as I did. When the Rose Theatre opened, and I uh, went up because I really love the play. I love Romeo and Juliet. I love the part of the prince, especially. So this is where this comes from. <laughs> and I might as well do it. And my friends have seen it, but I'm going to do it for. And this might take me. No, it won't. <clears throat> okay. This is how not to deal with auditions. Opening the Rose Theatre, quite a big thing. To play the prince. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Tony. Thanks for coming in. No, thank you uh, very much for having me. Okay, uh, so you like to read uh, the, um, uh, the entrance of the prince? Yes, please. Okay. <clears throat> no, before you stop. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, I don't want you to act. I don't want you even in a way.
to read. <laughs> Just say the word. <laughs> Rebellious subjects, enemies to peace, throw your most tempered weapons to the ground and hear the sentence of your moved prince. Three civil brawls have thrice disturbed the quiet of our streets. If ever you disturb our streets again, your life shall pay the forfeit of the peace. For now, thence all be gone. That's what I was told to do. This is how not to do an audition, by the way. By which I mean, this is how it turned out. That was quite good, Tony. <laughs> what do you think the prince is feeling? <laughs> well, I think... Well, I think... Considering it's the Capulets and the Montagues, and there's a really quite binary sectarian brawl going on in which people are being killed, I think he's pretty fucking angry. <laughs> Good, nice one. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but then I had lost it. Don't lose it at auditions. Pretend you understand. The bullshit you can see. So I said, <clears throat> okay. Don't forget, this is in fair Verona where we lay our scene and the acoustics are like this. He's in a square uh, and he is the prince and he's in charge. Rebellious subjects, enemies to peace, throw your mistempered weapons to the ground. And everyone should because it's the prince. And hear the sentence of your moving prince. Three civil brawls bred of an airy word by the old Capulet and Montague have thrice disturbed the quiet of our streets. If ever you disturb our streets again, your lives shall pay the forfeit of the peace. For then now, Go! Which I thought was the proper way to do it, because he's angry. He's the fucking prince. <laughs> People are killing each other. She didn't... Right. Just to end... Oh, anybody, he, he, he said, I like the anger there, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I lost it. I said, when you keep doing this, are you... Are you milking a really tall goat? Because <laughs> I don't understand what you're doing. He's angry. That's right, he's angry. <laughs> what, there are two goats now? And then I really I said, look, I don't care. He's angry. All this stuff about, just say the words. This is why it's watching, worth watching the cellar tapes and what Stephen does with Shakespeare. A master class, <laughs> an actor. It's the same principle. I said, look, I don't care whether this is losing it, and I don't. No, I'm quite a plastic person. I don't care whether <laughs> you're setting this not in fair Verona where we lay our scene from ancient grudge break to new mutiny. I don't care. You might be setting this in neo-Stalinist post-apocalyptic Glasgow, where everyone's dressed in leather and they're black or they're white or they're both halfway down. But <laughs> the prince is angry. And then, I didn't get the part, by the way. I didn't, <laughs> and then I said, the prince is angry because he wants to stop violence. And however much he does this, it won't happen. Capulet Montague. <laughs> Peace be on you, brother. So I walked off, I did get the pie anyway. <laughs> also, uh, it, it did get very good reviews, and I'm really pleased. <laughs>
<laughs> I just thought I'd do that because that's a strong memory, not to lose it. It's like the whole voiceover thing of, <clears throat> I don't know, Halifax, 29%. APR, do it. So, okay. <clears throat> okay, bang, name drop. Christopher Lee, we all know, yes. Mm. It was something like that. And I'd always been a fan of the Hob Hammer Horizons and um, yeah. And he came in, and uh, there, were, there were lots of these talking about 29%, or 29%, 29%. <laughs> I don't know why this goat milking still goes on. I think it still <laughs> goes on. And, but when his late, he, he'd only just been, 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 been knighted, and, and he came in through, and uh, his wife came in, and I was the only one who stood up, just as a matter of personal courtesy. That's all. No one else stood up. And so we got into the booth together and I think I think it was for a banking company and and uh, he said, it was very gracious of you, Tony, to do that. No one else did, did they? Uh, no, they didn't. Mm. And then because it was Sir Christopher Lee, he said, Gallery, I'm just going to turn off the talk back. I want to have a word with Tony. What do you think of the script and its syntax? He said, Christopher, no, call me Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I think it's shit. <laughs> so do I. Would you like to change it with me? Okay. And we changed it and... Uh, sorry, that came out of nowhere, but it's, isn't it brilliant how courtesy could get you places that you want to be just by being nice? That's it. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming to talk oh, to us. Not at all. I've just blabbered. I haven't no, even let you... No, it's been great. I haven't even let you talk. I'm sorry. No, I don't have anything to say. I think it was, like, it was so, like, really great to hear you talk so, like, openly about everything. And it was just really oh, interesting funny. and funny. And I think everyone's had a really great time. So thank you so much. Aww. Thanks. Thank you. And yeah, thank you everyone for coming. Oh um, yeah, <laughs> I mean really, and, and, and some of you are full eyes people.